morning. This is Barbara Dooley. Welcome. I think all of us as we age want to stay in our homes, but sometimes if we need special care, we're really not able to. Well, that's not true anymore. Now in Athens, we have a new kid on the block, and it's called Remain at Home Senior Care, which gives all of us an opportunity to remain at home and still get professional care. This morning, here to talk about this new company is Brian Kerrigan, who is the CEO and Executive Director. Good morning, Brian, and welcome. Good morning, Barbara, and good morning to your listeners, and thank you for that warm welcome. Well, it seems that there are other available ways that seniors can remain at home. What makes Remain at Home Senior Care unique or any different from other services? That's a very good question because there is a lot of confusion in the marketplace right now. Uh, I've been in the home care sector for about 10 years or so, Uh, in the hospice and home health arena. And about a year ago, Barbara, I had an idea that was sort of twofold uh, in regards to a void of offerings uh, in uh, in home care in this area. Um, Skilled home care, meaning a licensed medical practitioner like uh, an RN, an LPN, MA, even MDs, and of course our industry is filled with acronyms, so pardon me, uh, was only being offered intermittently uh, via home health and hospice. Um, and both hospice and home health service patients sort of, uh, you know, by hour and you are looking maybe at about four or five hours a week uh, and, and they try and spread it out through, throughout that, that entire week. So the, the twofold idea was that for, for those seniors who want to age in place at home, why not have somebody uh, who must be skilled stay with them and keep them healthy and thriving in the place they call home. Um, And also, too, um, in in my hospice days, the the idea of hospice is somebody who's terminally ill is to self-actualize them. And the the way they are self-actualized is by bringing in not not only nursing care, but also chaplain care, social workers, therapists, dieticians, to to provide this holistic form of care. And I thought to, to myself, I said, well, that is so fantastic that we are doing that for, for the terminally ill. Why don't we do that for people that aren't dying? So it's twofold. It is skilled care in the home. It can be incremental hours or 24-7, 365 with that hospice or palliation overlay. And all those are optional, meaning if somebody doesn't want to see a chaplain, they don't have to. And it's very empowering in that sense. Well, Athens is a... Clark County is the smallest county in the state. How are you servicing this company with professionals when we all know there's a shortage of doctors and nurses? That's another very good question. Um, For our caregivers, being so close to Atlanta and having two major hospitals in town and northeast Georgia to our north, there are no shortage of skilled nurses and skilled folks who want to make extra money. Um, Most nurses work shift works that are three days on and four days off. And in those four days that they are off, um, they are able to pick up extra money by working at Remain at Home, or as it it is affectionately known, RA. Um, Also, we have very aggressive compensation, I feel, uh, since we're uh, 24-7. In some cases, our our nurses are essentially paid to to sleep sometimes uh, with a monitor, of course. So it's not a bad deal, um, and having worked in the home care sector for so long, you know, I have a pretty good grasp on where that talent lies. Um, and also, uh, we, we practice what we, we call employee wor- worship here. Um, we really take care of our folks. It's not only the, the right thing, but because uh, uh, they are our core asset. I mean, uh, we don't make anything. Uh, we're, we're only as good as our folks, and our best marketing wears scrubs. So we are really, um, really big on taking care of our folks. All right. Today is Election Day. Tell me what your thoughts are on the current or future state of health care in the United States and what effects might this have on home health care? 
sure. Um, is, is this the part where I stick the huge foot in my mouth? <laughs> yep. This is it. Today's the big day. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Uh, well, health, health care is clearly a mess, um, and Medicare is not solvent. Uh, but, but it can be fixed, I believe. Um, and, I'm, of course, I'm bullish about America. Um, here, here's a very interesting stat. Um, for, for you, and hopefully you're going to have a very long life, Barbara, but for the last six months of your life, 60% of all health care dollars that have been spent in your entire life will be spent at that point. And why is that? It's it's because um, most people are frequent flying, and I know that's not a very very good term, but going in and out of hospitals at you know three to four thousand dollars a day. Um, one of the answers is, and this is also what patients prefer, incidentally, is to pay a company like me a few hundred dollars a day, bring the hospital to them, and and save a ton of money. Um, and anyone who owns a calculator knows that the, the current system just does not work. Um, so home care, I, I think, is just something that is practical. One, it's the, the right thing. And, and, again, anyone who owns a calculator knows that we have to, to nip and tuck. And, and uh, I'm not saying it's the silver bullet, but I, I think it definitely goes a long way. So you don't think it doesn't matter who wins this election, we still got some serious issues in health care? Right now, um, the Medicare system is not, it, it's not solvent. Uh, it doesn't exist. We, we have a credit line with China, essentially. Um, so uh, we, we have to have a paradigm shift on how we, we treat um, uh, folks who are elderly, and if you're, you know, you've heard all the stories about death panels and all of that, um, you know, r- rather than getting that, that macabre, um, <laughs> it, it, it could be uh, just, uh, you know, keeping them at home, and it's relatively inexpensive comparatively, and that's where people want to be. It's where less infection is, and everyone's happy. The, the patient... My, my company, of course, and even the hospitals, because if somebody comes in a hospital within 30 days with that same diagnosis, they don't get compensated. Huh. I didn't, yeah. re- I didn't realize that. So everyone wins all the way around, and we save a ton of money. So I just told you the entire solution for health care. You, you did it, and I'm so <laughs> glad I got it. I am happy, happy. Brian, I want to thank you so much. I've been talking with Brian Kerrigan, who is the CEO or executive director of Remain at Home Senior Care. And for those of you that want more information, go to our website, www.1340wgau.com. And we will put you into RemainAtHomeHealthCare.com. Talk to you later. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Barbara. And this is Barbara Dooley on News Talk, 1340 WGAU.